Hello, my name is Ed McCunis, and I'm the Vice President of Regulatory Affairs here at Advanced Cell Technology. I joined the company in 2009 and am responsible for managing our global regulatory affairs strategies and implementation, our clinical trial programs, and our internal and external quality assurance functions. This requires my working with the FDA here in the United States, as well as other international regulatory agencies and also working with the investigators and their institutions to move our clinical programs forward. I bring about 30 years of experience from a number of disciplines including biotechnology, pharmaceuticals, and medical devices. I have extensive experience in regulatory affairs, clinical affairs, compliance, and quality assurance. In order to successfully move our programs forward, I work closely with both the research group in terms of preclinical program development and the manufacturing group to make certain we comply with necessary guidelines to satisfy the various regulatory bodies. As you know, the past year and a half there has been significant activity from ACT with the preparation and filing of investigational new drug applications in our ocular programs. Our first program to use our RPE cells in the treatment of Stargardt's macular dystrophy, which is a form of juvenile macular degeneration. Additionally, we received orphan designation for this indication. Most recently, we submitted our IND for dry age-related macular degeneration, or dry AMD. I'm very happy to report that we have successfully received clearance from the FDA for both of these programs. Considering that we are one of two companies which have pioneered submissions in embryonic stem cell-based therapies, we have obtained clearance in record-setting times. I think that this is a real tribute not only to our science but also to our team here at ACT. Over the course of this coming year, I will be managing our clinical trial initiation in the U.S. and along with Dr. Lanza, the logistics of our active clinical trial programs and the analysis of data coming from those trials. I will also be spearheading our efforts in other parts of the world and expect that we will be filing to begin human clinical trials in both Stargardt's disease and dry AMD in Europe in the near term. In addition, I am part of a team here that is tasked with identifying additional indications for our RPE cell products, as well as moving our preclinical programs forward for the many other exciting new stem cell based products we have in our pipeline. I appreciate your time and hope that I have provided you insight into the depth and experience of our team here at ACT.